Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Glad that you visited us on 919. <clears throat> my, uh, my name is Pastor Dick Reif. I'm one of the pastors here at Bible Center Church, and I think it's exciting that I get to share with you about some things in the Bible that we relate back from then and we can use today. And I want to read to you, we're in Exodus chapter 35, and I'm going to read to you verses 30 through 35, and it says, And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Beziel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, and the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, the work of gold, work of silver, and in brass, and in the cutting of stones to set them, and in the carving of wood, and to make any manner of cunning wood. And he has put in his heart that he may teach both he and Aholiab and his son Ahishabash, the tribe of Dan. Then has he filled with wisdom the heart of all the men and manner of work, of the engraver, of the cunning workmanship, of the engraver, the embroiderer, in blue, in purple, in scarlet, and in fine linen, and in the weaver, even of them that do any work, and of those that devise cunning work. See, God give this man an opportunity to be the foreman over a great job that he was causing. And that job was to build a temple. Can you imagine having the responsibility of building a temple for God and the specifics of it? We find in the verses prior to that of all the specifications of how God wanted that temple built, of how he wanted the stones to be set, and how he wanted the the uh, all the linen and and all the the rugs and everything and, and all the the tarsals and things going on that's in that uh, he tells us that uh, he's in cunning and God give him the workmanship to be in in all this all these crafts to be able to fine tune uh, you know the gold and to make all these ornaments for the temple. What a great opportunity to do that. You know, today, God gives us an opportunity also, and God gives, I believe, that each and every one of us a specific gift to be able to serve Him. And it says that He done this to serve the Lord. He done this so the Lord would be glorified through it. You know, we have so many uh, places that you can serve today. Uh, we have the uh, hospitality with Miss Paula uh, does a great job, and she, you know she, you can work under her. Uh, we have a card ministry. I had a birthday here last month, and uh, got several cards from the card ministry. Loved it. I sat down in my chair and opened them up, and sat there and just thought of the people that sent the cards and and the effort that they put out just to you know send the card. And I think of the care ministry. Pastor Richard Thompson and I work together a lot on it. And we have a group of folks that all we have to do is just call them and say, hey, we've got a project tomorrow. It might be putting floors down. It might be installing kitchens. It might be doing sheetrock. It might be doing electric or plumbing. And all these folks are more than willing to come out and give their time. A lot of them say, I can't do anything. I can hand you a nail. I can hand you a hammer. But you know, that's serving the Lord. Is that They're out there doing something that the Lord has given them a gift to be able to do. And not only that, but at the end of the day, when we get done, most of them are saying, guess what? I was more blessed than the person was because I worked with, you know, our believers and we, we had a good time together. We joke around with each other. We have a lot of fun with Pastor Richard. He'll know what I'm talking about. But with all that being said, think today. God has a specific opportunity for you to serve somewhere in the capacity of God's work. And hopefully you'll maybe sit down and say, well, I don't know what my gift is. Then pray about it. Yours may be just sitting, uh, going to your neighbor's house and cutting her grass. Yours may be just going to your neighbor's house and weeding her garden, flower garden. Yours may be going to your neighbor's house and giving them a meal. There's a lot of opportunities out there that we can serve, that we can be more Christ-like. Think about it today. Let me pray with you. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another day. We thank you for this opportunity that you've given us that we can share together. Pray, Lord, that you'll show us the gifts that you've given us that most of all will glorify Christ in what we do and what we say. Let Christ be lifted up. And Lord, we pray that if there's anyone there that does not know you as Lord and Savior, they may be sitting right there listening to this program and saying, I want to know Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Pray, Lord, that they just humble their hearts and bow their heads and say, Jesus, I want to know you as my Lord and Savior. I want to accept you into my heart. Guide and direct, Lord, that we can give you the glory and give you the honor that you deserve, because you deserve it all. For we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you.